In the last video, I talked about the basics of generating easing keyframes for the Caden Live Transform effect. Since then, I've updated the tool I made and wanted to quickly go over what's changed. First, we have minor graphical changes. I made the output preview a bit larger and flipped it so that the starting keyframe is on the bottom, marked by the dash blue line, and the ending keyframe is on top, marked by the dash red line. The gray line in the middle represents the halfway point between the two keyframes. Now, on to new features. Previously, a big limitation was that you were unable to create keyframes for rotation. However, after a bit of investigating into Caden Live's inner workings, I added the ability to generate rotation keyframes. You can see in the output that there's a new entry for generated rotation easing, and when you import those keyframes, all that you'll need to do is switch the data to import dropdown to the generated rotation easing. You'll also need to change this dropdown to rotation instead of rectangle, because otherwise the import won't work. Something to keep in mind is that if you change both rotation and other properties like scale or opacity, you'll need to do the import process twice. Once for the rotation easing and once for the other transform property easings. This is just an unfortunate consequence of the way keyframes are handled by Caden Live, which for some reason tracks rotation separately from all the other properties in the transform effect. Another annoying limitation with the previous version was that you had to calculate the start and end frames for your easings by hand and manually enter in the transformation values for both frames. This was a finicky and time-consuming process when you just want to add a simple transition, especially if it's in the middle of the clip. To remedy this, I added a paste keyframes box. After setting up the start and end keyframes in Caden Live, you can select both keyframes, copy them, then paste them into the box. This imports the data from the keyframes automatically. Then, when you import the generated keyframes in Caden Live, they'll be in between the keyframes that you set up before. This last feature is a bit more niche, but was absolutely essential for a recent video I made. I had a large file that I just wanted to scroll through on screen, stopping at each symbol in the file before moving on to the next one, and I wanted it to use smooth transitions to get to each symbol. Instead of manually creating keyframes for each transition 12 times over, which would be super error-prone process and also extremely mind-numbing, I decided to add a feature to the easings generator to repeat a transition a certain number of times between two points. Right now, it just divides the time into n equal parts, where n is the repeat number. It then uses the easing selection to move between each part. It's probably best to use an ease in out easing, as otherwise it can look a little jerky. That was everything for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'm pretty quick to respond. Otherwise, thanks for watching.